Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll explore how to use Python sorted function. Python sorted function is a built-in function for sorting iterables. It uses time sort as its sorting algorithm, which is derived from merge sort and insertion sort. Let's take a look at the syntax of Python sorted function. Here, iterable can be any iterable Python object, like string, tuple, list, set, dictionary, and others. Key is an optional argument that allows to add a function, for example a lambda function, as a key for sorting. It defaults to none. Reverse is an optional argument that allows to reverse the iterable in order to sort in descending order if it's set to true. It defaults to false. Now let's take a look at the process of the sorted function. After sorting is performed on an iterable, the sorted function returns a sorted list. There are many applications of the sorted function, so let's take a look at a few basic examples. Let's start with sorting a list of numbers in ascending order. First, we'll create a list of numbers. Next, we will sort the list of numbers using sorted function. And finally, let's print the sorted list. Perfect. We see that the list has been sorted in ascending order. We can also sort the list in descending order. The code is very similar to the previous example, except we will need to set the reverse argument of the sorted function to true. Perfect. Now we can see that the list has been sorted in the descending order. Python sorted function can also sort lists with string elements in it. The procedure with sorting numbers is very simple and intuitive, and it can be extended to sorting strings. Python sorted function sorts strings based on the first character of each string. For example, apple comes before orange since A is before O in the alphabet. So let's take a look at an example. We will start by creating a list of strings. Next, we will sort the list of strings. Okay. 
And finally, we will print the sorted list. Perfect. As you can see, the list has been sorted in alphabetical order. You can also sort a list of strings in descending order by setting the optional reverse argument to true, similar to the example we did with sorting a list of numbers in descending order. Note that you can extend this functionality to other iterables like tuples, sets, dictionaries, and others. For more complex sorting tasks, we can add the usage of key function in sorted, which will act as a key for sorting. There are two ways of using a key function. Using lambda function as key function, or using custom function as key function. First, let's look at using lambda function with sorted. Let's start by creating a list of words. In this example, we would like to sort the list based on the length of elements, meaning that the words will be ordered from shortest to longest based on the number of characters in each word. As you can imagine, we'll have to use the len function to calculate the length of each element. We can do this by using a lambda function as a key function in sorted function. If you're not familiar with Lambda functions, please check out my tutorial about Lambda functions in Python by following the link below the video. Finally, let's print the sorted list. As you can see, the list has been sorted in ascending order based on the length of each word, where the first element in the sorted list is the shortest word, and the last element in the sorted list is the longest word. Now let's take a look at an example of using custom function with sorted function. We will reuse the same list of words from the previous example. Now we would like to perform the same sorting based on length of each element in the list, but using a custom function to calculate the length of each word. We can define a simple function to calculate the length of a word and pass it into sorted as a key function. Now let's use the calclen function as a key for sorting in the sorted function.
And finally, let's print the sorted list. Perfect. As you can see, the sorted list is the same as the sorted list we created using len function with lambda function as a key function for sorted. The functionality of Python sorted function can be extended to custom objects as long as we're sorting iterables. For example, Let's create a custom class person with two attributes, name and age. Using this class, we will create a list of tuples with information of each person. Now let's print this list of tuples. As you can see, this is now a list of tuples, which is a Python iterable and can be sorted using sorted function. In this example, we would like to sort the list based on age attribute of each person. And finally, let's print the sorted list. As you can see, we've successfully sorted a list of tuples based on age attribute. In this tutorial, we explored how to use Python sorted function. Now that you know the basic functionality, you can practice using it with other iterable data structures for more complex use cases. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions. 
please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more of my Python programming tutorials.